Welcome everyone to Side Quest and to Elden Ring. Today we ascend to the top, or try to. Who's excited to find out what or who is waiting for us along the way? Because I suspect there's at least one person gonna stand between us and that door into the tree that was blocked. At least one. And I can't wait to find out who. And probably die to them a few times. Just statistically speaking. Nice of him to just let us take the direct path this time. Am I seeing someone? I think I am. Oh yeah, no, I'm seeing someone. Let's, uh... Probably would have been better to, um come in fully ready, but that's fine. We're fine. Gideon, is that you? I think it is. Ah. I knew you'd come to stand before the Elden Ring. To become Elden Lord. What a sad state of affairs. I commend your spirit, but alas, none shall take the throne. Queen Marika has high hopes for us, that we continue to struggle unto eternity. Oh. That sounds terrible. Gideon. Woo! I see what all of your, like... All the intelligence you've gathered has wrought, though. This is cool, seeing you use a whole bunch of moves from a whole... ...bunch of the different, uh, bosses that we ended up out fighting. Just all the intelligence you gathered. Oh, boy. You fought well until now. That's great. I wonder... Does the move list change based on how much intelligence you brought him. I bet it does. And if so, what a cool idea. All right. This feels like it should be a proper duel. At least until I die a bunch of times, which you thought well until now. Is possible. I'm just enjoying seeing your whole move set now. Gracious. Look at all the stuff you have. All right, gonna have to take it, like, a little seriously. If I could actually manage to get this death move on him... That I'll bet he wouldn't be super ready for. He's got no info on that. But let's see what sort of nonsense we can get up to. Got some toys like that. Boy. You've got a lot of toys in your kit. Ah, just out of range. What does that one do for you? Is it healing you? It might be. Oof, don't stand in the way of that. It's devastating. Eh. Quick. 
There's probably a better weapon for this. He doesn't have a ton of HP. It's just a ton of offense he's got. Yeah. Oh boy. Not good. Not good. Ah. You fought well until now. This is a really cool fight. He's like he's not. He's not very sturdy. He's not very agile either. He's just an extremely accomplished mage. He knows all the different kinds of disciplines of magic or incantation or anything, and he can throw them all at you uh, from all sides. So if you can get in close to him and hit him, you could probably take him down pretty quick, but just the overwhelming offense of the variety of magic he's able to throw out is really cool. I didn't expect much of a fight from him, and I'm kind of glad that I was wrong. Having this will help, I think, whenever he does the Millennia move, so I can like, knock him down with this from a distance. That'll help. Uh, just faster stuff might help, honestly. I don't know how many of these I can hold simultaneously. Like, this is too heavy. I can do the two great swords, but, uh, not the colossal ones. At least not without changing my gear setup, which is... You know, having a little more magic shielding might not be terrible. Might end up doing that, but for now, let's just try mixing up our offense a bit. Might even try the poison a little bit. I don't think I dare attempt, like, a Dragon Breath attack. Those are a little too, uh, slow. And he's got too many spells he's throwing at me at once. Yeah. Could throw on some defensive, uh, incantations as well. Get those in the mix. I'll keep it in mind as a possibility. Let's see how the sword does, though. Yeah. Watch the skull. Now, here's our opportunity to cook him with that one. Oh, yeah, that works. Look out for all that. Ouchies. He is poisoned now, that's great. And he does sometimes get out of the way. Yeah, he does roll, he's quick. Good evasion. Why do you keep refreshing that? Yeah, I figured you'd probably do that. Only fair, really. Oh boy. Look out! Get away from all that! Don't be right in front of that. It's terrible. Ow! Oh boy. That's not the one I want. Whew. Really should have died there. That was sloppy on my part. Ah, oh, you're devastating with those magic spells. Well, until now. This is a cool fight, though. I like this duel. I think I could pretty much end it by bringing in a, uh, <laughs> by summoning in help. I want to see if I can beat him without it first, though. Like, I think Tish would end this guy. <laughs> like, instantly. Tish would be in his face, dodging all this nonsense, hitting him with the, like... If in several more tries, I keep on getting a little bit wrecked, I'm so curious to see just how fast Tish 
killed him. Because if Teach didn't, then it, Teach would distract him enough that I could. So I feel pretty confident in our ability to win that way. I'm just uh, curious to see what else can be accomplished here. And the poison works pretty well too, honestly. If I can manage to hit him with it. No, not that one. Stupid. Pay attention to what you got equipped. Get poison knifed. Yeah. Nope. Ah, boy. He just cast it a little faster than my roll speed. And I've kind of been avoiding it because I figured there's no way I'd have enough time to get the cast to work. But I got good range with this, and if he, like, starts with something that's not super, uh... heavy on the offense, this could really ruin him pretty fast as well. I don't know, let's see. Could be entertaining. And good luck rolling through all this, bud. Yeah, that seems like a strong start. Oh boy. Yeah, that's so devastating, that spell. I could probably be wearing better armor with for magic defense, but he just seems to be very strong with it. Hitting him with Rod early on, effective though. Good to know. Alright, one more attempt with our nonsense, and then we'll let Tish have a go. Because I just have a hunch. As to how that is going to end up. Yeah. Come closer. Missed. What a wild combination of stuff he has. Ah! Yeah, gosh, that spell. That spell is what gets me every time. Need to get... Well, even being super close to him, he can still pull that out if you're not fast enough to dodge it. Alright, let's see what Tish does. Enough goofs. We're having a lot of fun here. But I also want to see what's past this guy. And also, I'm just really morbidly curious to see... how this goes for him. Should be entertaining. If he doesn't manage to take Tisha out right away. Or me, for that matter. Wow, she can, like, fully knock him down, too. Really mess him up. Eh. Get him, Tish. Ah, I'm rotted. That's not great. Yeah. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, that was a nasty combination of things that I just stood in the middle of. <laughs> While rotted. Yeah, Tish is the ticket, though. It's a hard fight, but it's a fun one. It's an interesting puzzle. Uh... I think I'll go with this sword. Like, less range on the Blood Slash, but it did seem to do more damage to him. It doesn't knock him down, either, which I do love the knockdown, but... Let's hit him with Tish. 
and rot. And together, those two things, I feel like, are going to do the work we need. Enjoy, my friend. Ow, that hurt a lot. Knock him down. Keep him down. Get him, Tish. Before he obliterates me with magic. a corner. That's not good for you, Gideon. Not at all. He got out of it, though. Kudos. I in my bones. A tarnished cannot become a lord. Not even you. A man cannot kill a god. You may well be right. We'll just have to see. Scepter of the All-Knowing. All-Knowing Helm. And other stuff. Let's see about it. Scepter in the form of a hand grasping a pearl. Signature weapon of Sir Gideon off near the All-Knowing. The pearl stands for the world, the heavens, and an eye, representing the many forms of knowledge never fully attainable. Even knowing that, the All-Knowing's hand grasps for it. Raise the scepter to manifest the realm of the all-knowing. Enemy magic and holy damage negation will be reduced for all within the area, including the caster. Very interesting. Perhaps that explains why I was just getting absolutely cooked by those spells so much. <laughs> A helm set with countless eyes and ears, worn by Gideonoff near the all-knowing. Knowledge begins with the recognition of one's ignorance. The realization that the search for knowledge is unending. But when Gideon glimpsed into the will of Queen Merica, he shuddered in fear. At the end, that should not be. Hmm. Yeah? Well, we shall see. Well, he's definitely the one character that I was expecting to be... ...here, standing in our way. I now have a guess about one other. I suppose I had that suspicion before, too, but... It would really only make sense having Merica waiting at the end of this. Is that enough? I think that's just short. Now we can get... Yeah, there we go. Well then. What else is in here? What and who? Nothing new up here. There was the other opening up this way. Which is, I think, the entrance I used first time coming in this way. Yeah. 
coming up the branch. A bit more broken now, but it does kind of lead down to that part of the roof. Eh, why not? There's gold mask all the way down there. I really do appreciate that, even at level 162, 3, 160 something. Which is a big number. These bosses at the end are not pushovers. And I've not really been grinding at any point. But, uh, so like I could certainly get some more levels, but, uh, Yeah, at this point, they're just, uh, they're hard fights. You gotta use all the tools you've been collecting along the way. He has returned. The Lord has returned at long last. Our very first Lord to brandish the Elden Ring once more. Really? Huh. I'm gonna go up here first real quick, just to be sure. Just to be sure. Maybe I should have gone in there. I should have. For some reason, in, from the perspective, I was thinking, oh, I keep going up that way and it'll lead me right up there. No, that's what this path is. The <laughs> I confused myself a little bit. But also... Hang on. What if there's something good? Nope, this is just right back here. That's fine. Just to be sure. Nope, okay. Then onward we go, and there's not much further to go from here. Erd Tree Heal. One of the ancient Erd Tree incantations. Heals a vast amount of HP for the caster and nearby allies. Hold to continue praying and delay activation. The Erd Tree once flourished with abundance, yet it was only for a fleeting moment. Such is the course of all life. Someone's going to be waiting for us in there again. And I honestly don't know what to expect anymore. I'm expecting Merica before the very end. But that first Lord Returned thing has given me a bit of pause. But we've made it. Oh, really? Huh. You know, we'll see. It's been... 
A long while, Morgoth. Long and hard didst thou fight, tarnished warrior, spurned by the grace of gold. Be assured the Elden Ring resteth close at hand. Alas, I am returned. To be granted audience once more. Upon my name as Godfrey, the first Elden Lord. I did wonder where you'd ended up. Because we've seen like statues of you around and stuff. I knew there was Godwin, the one who. I think the one who was killed in the Night of Black Knives. Godric! the grafted disappointment who no one's terribly impressed by. Ah, just out of reach. Greedy. Cool design, too. I feel like I really should be using the cool... the cool death sword here. Feels thematically appropriate, you know? Hey! Whoa! That's cool. Very. Pretty straight up, kind of like, uh... Ah, oh, I thought I was out of range. Pretty straight up, like, uh... God duel. At least to start out. I'm sure that'll change as this continues, but... It's kind of refreshingly... straightforward to begin with here. I keep forgetting the follow-up. You can guard through a lot of this, though, as long as you got the stamina for it. What are you doing? This is new. Woo! Big impact. Ow. I feel like the big spirit beast thing is going to come into play a bit more as this progresses. I also feel like I should be using the banished blade if I'm using a great sword here. 
the banished blade would maybe be a more uh, fitting way. Yep, here we go. There's a twist I didn't expect. Ow. Woo. Yipes. Yipes with the grabs. Grabs and swipes. Whew. That is a surprise. So that then would be Nephililu's father. I I had wondered both, yeah, where Nephililu's father was, because Horalu, I think, has mentioned at the very start, if I'm not mistaken, in the opening cutscene, which I'd forgotten for a long time. At least I think that was Horalu. But yeah, like, uh, I guess this is where Godfrey had been this whole time. Interesting. Okay. Let's change up our sword situation a bit just to try this out. Um, I could try breath at the start. We can see what happens. And given what we know now, getting Nephili in there seems kind of fitting, even though that's probably going to mean more HP for the boss, but it does seem fitting. Don't know if I could bring another spirit ash while you're there, but we'll see. Welcome. Now let's see how this goes. Great arena, too. Have some of this. Not as much as I would have liked. I'll give you a little more. I feel like you missed out. Whew. At least it worked. Now let's have some of this as well. Because, again, this does feel fitting if I don't get too cooked by this. Nephili, I mean, do your best, but... That's cool, too. It's 
fun using all these thematically appropriate tools. Ouch. Doing great as a distraction, Nephily, thank you. Ah, I thought I rolled. Whew. Is he doing, like, is he doing bigger, fancier moves with Nephily here? Ah, don't get grabbed like that all the time. Ow. Nephily is still here. For the moment. Whew. Thanks for keeping him off me for just a second. And thus concludes Nephili's contributions. That is a bummer. Thanks for the help, Nephili. Thanks for giving me a window to get some rot in. Whew. Ah, just off on the timing. Yeah, I want to be hitting him with my big special. Too early again! Gotta dodge that better. And that. Ow. Vicious. All right, so you can run away from that one. That's fine. Whew. Whoa! I'm kind of glad just to be seeing all these good moves, honestly. <laughs> We can get him for sure, though. Especially with Nephili and Teach in there, who also feels sort of thematically appropriate as an assassin of demigods. I'm loving how all of our tools are feeling fitting for this particular encounter. Real excited about it. Take three. Now we're all in here. Now you're getting some dragon rot breath. Probably not a lot of it, because most of it missed. That's fine. Got greedy. Hit him, team. Ow. Mess him up. Ow. This is greedy. To the extreme. But it did land. Come on. Phase two. Let's see it. Phase two, let's go. There we go. Let's go, team. Ooh, staggered. Didn't expect that.
Woo! Get him, Tish! Ah, greedy. There goes Tish. Nephilim's still in it, though. Come on. Oh, those big stomps. Whew. We can finish him. We must die. Tarnished. Nephilim made it. Thy strength defends a crown. Yeah. Legend felled. I'm so glad Nephili was here and survived that. That's great. Okay, well, uh, so excited to go in there. Not happening today because I don't know what more awaits, but also, uh, Like, at this point, I don't think Nephilim's gonna have new dialogue related to that. But I also want to leave so I can see, like, what more item descriptions we get with that remembrance. Speaking of which... Remembrance of the warrior Horalu, hewn into the Erd Tree. The power of its namesake can be unlocked by the finger reader, right, right. When Godfrey, first Elden Lord, was robbed of his grace, becoming tarnished, he took with him his kinsfolk and left the lands between. I had always wondered, they kept, like, who the Lord of the Tarnished was who all left the lands between, like, with him. That, I had, I had wondered who that was. And maybe they've said at some point before I really had enough to realize what they were talking about. But interesting. Okay. When Godfrey, first Elden Lord, was robbed of his grace, becoming tarnished, he took with him his kinfolk and left the lands between. After the long march of the tarnished came to an end, Godfrey divested himself of kingship, becoming a simple warrior once more. Cool. That's awesome. I love that. Okay. Yeah. Let's call it today. I don't know if Monday is going to be the uh, finale or what. I don't know. Or, if it is, like, maybe we'll even put the episode on Saturday. I don't know. Whatever. I'll see y'all probably Monday for maybe the finale. Who knows? Take care, all of you, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.